Now to a Target 12 consumer investigation. Cafeteria concerns. If one thing goes wrong, a lot of people can get sick. Every year, school cafeterias in Rhode Island are inspected by the Department of Health. We come through hundreds of pages of inspection reports and discovered a slew of violations, including a rodent problem in more than one district. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now with her findings. So far this school year, the health department has conducted 396 school cafeteria inspections. Some are repeats because schools had violations that had to be corrected and reinspected. The trays are full, and so are students' stomachs. When your kid buys a school lunch, you count on it coming from a clean kitchen. But inspection records we reviewed show hundreds of health code violations so far this school year. Every single year, we go to every single school. Kathy Feeney is in charge of school cafeteria inspections at the Rhode Island Department of Health. She says when inspectors went to East Greenwich, they found a mouse problem. For some reason this year, we've seen a lot of uh, rodent droppings. At Cole Middle School in East Greenwich, inspectors found rodent droppings behind the stove, behind the steamer, in the dry storage room corners, and in the corner of the dishwasher. And at the district's Meadowbrook Farms Elementary School, droppings were discovered in the corner of the dishwashing room, in the storage room, and behind the grease trap. Records show inspectors returned to both schools several times in October and November, and again found rodent droppings. Target 12 obtained this sternly worded letter from the Department of Health to Superintendent Victor Mercurio, demanding assistance with an ongoing issue regarding rodent activity. According to the letter, the department made an unsuccessful effort to correct this widespread concern. Is this something parents should actually be worried about? Well, the thing is, um, it's, it's bad, but it doesn't directly cause foodborne illness unless the droppings are actually in the food, and that would be a big problem. When we reached out to Mercurio, he said he had never seen the letter from the Department of Health. He declined our requests for an interview on camera, but told us our custodians and our food service vendor have been vigilant about inspecting and cleaning. He also said the district is working with a pest control company and noted the most recent inspections showed only old rodent droppings. According to him, the matter is being addressed actively and comprehensively. East Greenwich is the only district that received a letter like this from the Department of Health. But it isn't the only district where signs of rodents have been discovered this year. Communities including Barrington, Pawtucket, Providence, and Woonsocket were also flagged for pest problems. We might go back two or three times to the same school if there's an issue, just till they get it right. Inspectors also found other issues, debris on surfaces, dumpsters in the wrong place, appliances in poor repair. And several schools were forced to toss food because of temperature violations. Either the food wasn't cold enough or wasn't hot enough. You know, we see a lot of different types of violations, but I have to say in general, the schools are pretty good. According to the Department of Health, 56 schools this year have been marked for reinspection because of violations. None of the violations discovered in any of the schools resulted in the closure of a cafeteria this year. With the Target 12 investigator Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. The latest now in a Target 12 consumer investigation, cafeteria concerns. On Eyewitness News at 5, we told you about hundreds of health code violations discovered this year in school cafeterias in Rhode Island. We also showed you the warning letter East Greenwich received demanding action to get rid of a rodent problem. The district tells us they're taking care of the issue. New at 6, we've learned cafeterias are supposed to be inspected twice a year in Rhode Island, and we wanted to find out if schools are complying with federal regulations. Target 12 consumer reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with what she's uncovered. The health department says inspecting school cafeterias is a priority. The agency says many school cafeterias receive the required two inspections, but not all of them. When health inspectors went to Cunningham Elementary School in Pawtucket, they discovered this. Boxes of food labeled keep refrigerated or frozen sitting out at room temperature. According to an inspection report, the school had insufficient refrigeration equipment and was ordered to fix the problem immediately. Schools are really important because we have a lot of little kids and also if one thing goes wrong, a lot of people can get sick. Kathy Feeney is in charge of cafeteria inspections um, yeah. for the Rhode Island Department of Health. We check for things like the temperatures. We make sure that there's no cross contamination. And we also check things like hand washing and making sure that um, Food service workers actually wear gloves when they're touching food that's not going to get cooked. According to records we requested, last year the health department completed 794 inspections at 419 different schools. 
Federal regulations require school cafeterias to be inspected twice a year. The health department acknowledged it doesn't have a perfect record. Over 10 years ago, the um, USDA, they mandated a two times a year inspection. And at that point, it was, you know, we had seven inspectors. So we knew we weren't going to be able to go twice a year, but we knew we could get there at least once. Every single year, we go to every single school. If there's any issues, we always follow up. Now the Department of Health has 12 inspectors. And Feeney says for years, the state has also hired outside inspectors to help meet requirements. Have you had had to close any school cafeterias this year? No. In fact, I can't remember closing a school cafeteria because they're usually very responsive. If there ever is an active concern, though, um, we will just keep going back until they fix it. According to the health department, five schools have not been inspected yet this year because of scheduling issues. With the Target 12 investigator Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.